the Real Estate You podcast with Letty Ann. Welcome back to Real Estate You with Letty Ann, season five in the kitchen. And I'm so happy to have Heather Steppy in my kitchen today. Heather, thank you so much for being here. But before you say anything, we are celebrating our 100th episode. So this is a big day for us. Yeah. So. I'm Honored to be here. Thank yeah. you, Letty Ann. Thank you so much. We've had uh, Heather's husband, Kyle, on our show before. Kyle and Heather Steppy are owners of Casey Hempco right here in the Kansas City metropolitan area. And Heather is going to be making for us today healthy CBD cookie dough. Not cookie dough you bake, though. And what makes it healthy, Heather? Chickpeas, made all from chickpeas. Love it. Yeah. Love it. So we're also, we're gonna make this and taste this delicious recipe, but then we're also gonna talk about CBD, the benefits of CBD, CBD and um, what is in, next in store for Casey Hempco moving forward, because federally, nationally, every, everything's changing. Everything's changing Everything. every day. <laughs> Everything is changing every day. We're gonna get started on this recipe, but I wanna remind you, if you're enjoying the recipes this season, please, visit lettyann.com forward slash season five recipes. There you can download all of these recipes, uh, ingredients, and the method right to your computer. So Heather, let's get started with this. All right. <clears throat> okay, so this is probably the easiest, healthiest dessert recipe you could ever make. Our 12-year-old kids make it all the time. It's a wonderful addition to any refrigerator, um, and it just requires a few ingredients. Um, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your blender, food processor, blender, anything works. I use my Ninja because I feel like it really grinds those chickpeas up really, really well. Start with one can of chickpeas. You wanna make sure they're rinsed and drained very well. Dump them right into your blender. Three and tablespoons of oats. Just so Alex can get a really good oh. shot, Heather, if you don't mind, perfect. That's great, good. Left hand? Yes. Yeah. Three tablespoons of oats. I add hemp seeds. You don't have to, this is optional. I just enjoy adding hemp seeds basically into everything we cook. It's a wonderful way to add different um, omega-3s and 6s as well as a little bit of protein. Hemp seeds right in there. Next up is our brown sugar. Um, as far as sweetening this, you can use whatever you have on hand. Brown sugar, honey, agave. I like to do a little bit of mixture of brown sugar and honey. Um, I think the honey adds just like a nice toasted, toasted flavor. It smells really good already. I'm a, I'm a big peanut butter fan anyway, so. And then I always eyeball the honey. That's the way to do it. Just a couple of tablespoons. Next up, we're going to add um, baking soda. A little bit of vanilla. Pure vanilla extract is definitely the key to this, not the imitation. Never the imitation. Never the imitation. Um, and as far as Nut butters, you can use whatever you'd like. If you're allergic to peanuts, um, another great option is almond butter. Also makes it nice and toasty. Right in there as well. And then you're gonna do a quarter cup of whatever milk you choose. Um, using a nut milk does make this an entire vegan recipe. Oh, wonderful. And that yeah. was almond milk, right? That was almond milk. Cool. So the secret ingredient to our absolutely amazing healthy cookie dough is our CBD isolate. So this is a powdered CBD. It's been extracted directly from the hemp plant. There's nothing else in here except 99% CBD. So we just add that right on top. Why CBD isolate? Yeah, so CBD has so many wonderful benefits. Um, it can help with anxieties, depressions. It helps with inflammation throughout the body. Uh, so adding it into a yummy dessert is a great way to just get that healthy dose of your cannabinoids. Yeah, that's, I mean, and with the omega-3s, all of this, the protein, the chickpeas, bring it on. What's yeah, next? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's it. So we've got everything in our blender. What we're going to do is go ahead and take it over. Blend it. Oh, you bet. Very nicely. Uh, the key here is to make sure that you get it blended all the way. You want a really creamy paste almost, um, so you don't really get that overpowering chickpea taste. So, so you'll continue blending for two to three minutes. Make sure you're scraping the sides down really well, and then you end up with this amazing, healthy CBD cookie dough dip. I'm gonna just tilt that for Alex. And we're gonna try this. So this is a finished product, ready That's to go. That's a finished product, yeah. So yeah. you wanna save your um, chocolate chips for the end. Good. You don't put those in the blender with everything else. It's the only thing that doesn't go in. Um, so I add it into the dip, make sure to mix it around really, really good. And then I always add some on top because who doesn't love chocolate chips? Yum. Yeah, dark chocolate chips. 
<clears throat> I've known Heather for a few years now, and I'll tell you she's a wealth of information and wickedly passionate about CBD, the hemp plant, and all of that. But her, I, what I love that you do, you are so knowledgeable Thank about, you. I mean, you are, I, I mean, if someone had time to pick your brain about the whys, the insulates, the outsolates, the isolates, all <laughs> of that, and the why behind it, because I think education is key. We've talked about this before. Kyle, your husband, and I talked about this before on one of our previous podcast episodes. Yeah. The benefits of CBD, you, could, you, you don't have enough time in the day to probably tell someone. Is that right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean... It, it, the easiest way and the quickest way for me to explain it is we all have an endocannabinoid system. We have a system in our bodies that is primarily responsible for creating homeostasis and balance. And that interacts with cannabis. I mean, it's called the endocannabinoid system that just shows you how important and biologically important it is for us to have these compounds in our daily lives. So is it like a cell that opens that the CBD goes in and makes us better, feel better? And that's non-THC, so CBD is no zero THC. Correct, yes. We'll get into THC in a minute. Yeah. But, um, I mean, there's so much to know. So for, if you're speaking to a novice, what would you tell them? Yeah, so basically the way it works is it goes in and interacts with this system. So you have them throughout your spinal column, in your brain, all your peripheral organs. Um, and it does so by creating that balance, homeostasis. When you think of anxiety, depression, Crohn's, IBS, just inflammation, arthritis, all of these things are caused by an imbalance. So your endocannabinoid system, when it is stimulated with CBD products or cannabis products, it can then cause your system to respond to these imbalances balances them out, makes you feel better, creates just a healthier, happier lifestyle. Well, no, thank you for putting that in kind of terms that we can all understand. Uh, that makes total sense to me. Now, what if you're speaking with someone with uh, a disorder, maybe a thyroid disorder, maybe anxiety? What would you, if someone came to you, because you're a wealth of knowledge, you, uh, Pre-pandemic, they had a storefront. Post-pandemic, they are now all online. So please go to kchempco.com. Uh, there you can connect with Heather and Kyle. Uh, you can learn more about the why, the CBD why. Mm -hmm. It's not just a phase. It's not just, and all of your products are organic. All They were all organic, are they still? Yes, they are still all organic. Um, we only put ingredients in our products that we would want to ingest in our bodies. Yeah. Um, there's no additives, there's no fillers. It's and our tinctures is MCT oil and CBD. Yeah, both of which are good for you. Very, yes. MCT is coconut oil. Correct, Right. it's fresh so, coconut oil. So um, I, I'm pointing to uh, my office coordinator, he has an al he's allergic to coconut oil. Yes, yeah, so it would not be, our tinctures would not be a good option for okay, that. Okay, good, and I'm looking at Will right yes. now. Yes, but we have we plenty of other great yeah, so options that don't have the MCT. Give, give us an example. Yeah, so the CBD isolate, what we put here in our So the powder. Dough. The powder, so yeah, it's just straight CBD, so it's not right mixed in anything. in coffee or? Absolutely, you can put it in coffee, you can put it directly into your tongue, you can put it in dishes. I mean, we specifically like to use it um, when we're making uh, medicated dishes. Yeah, it makes sense. But just like uh, maybe a collagen powder, if people yeah. put that in their tea or their coffee or the juice or something like that. Yeah, so, yeah absolutely. good to know. I'm our, I, every time I learn something from, <laughs> from you guys. So um, what's the next step? The next step for Casey Hemco? Yeah, so at Casey Hemco, you know, we strive on education, but we also pride ourselves in our advocacy work. So I'm raising we my hand are. I, I, I want to go back for a second. Yeah. Not a chain. Not, not a, a chain. Not a, I, this is important, and I really thought about this before I thought about it when you were talking about the um, isolate. Is that right? Isolate? Yeah. Okay, isolate. yay, I'm learning. Um, what I love is you're so wanting a pure, good product that I won't buy my CBD products from anyone else. Okay. I mean, I mean, not, I mean, I know love you and all of that too, but it, that's not the reason why. I mean, if you're just like, oh, we're just putting stuff out, we don't know where our product comes from, still coming from Colorado? Um, yes, okay. still coming from Colorado. For now. Yeah, for now. For now. For now. <laughs> stay, stay tuned for now. But you, you literally care about where it's cut, where it comes from. Yeah. It's not like, oh, we're opening 25 stores across the, na the nation. Uh, so anyway, local business, love them. Uh, local business like myself, I love partnering with local business owners. Anyway, just a big shout out to you guys. Thank you. Thank because you. what we, 
who you hire matters when it comes to service. Absolutely. And you are also big on service and education, but who you hire, you know, what you purchase and who you purchase it from matters as well. Absolutely. So anyway, I really had to put that in there that this isn't a shop you're going to see on every corner because they're mass producing something. I think you guys rather would be, have, be out of product for a week. Yeah than to go, oh, we'll just get some B-grade stuff. Absolutely. All right, good, I had to say that. we manufacture all of our products here locally as well. So we don't buy it from anyone else and put a label on it, we make it. Huge. Yeah, handcraft, I mean, small batch. And we do that so that we can keep quality control over the product as well. Um, you know, we're making small batches and then we send those out for third-party testing. So as soon as we get those test results back, that's when we offer it to the public, um, making sure that it meets our standards and everything is in our product that we say is in the product. Um, there has been a time where um, making it, we had a few uh, formulations wrong. We got our third party lab test back and we were able to go back into the manufacturer and tweak and adjust. So everything is double checked, triple checked. We try everything that we um, come up with all of our new products on our family members from our small little 14 month old baby to our dogs, to the adults, to our big kids. Um, everything has been tested and we, if we wouldn't give it to our family, we most certainly would not give it to your family. And when I said huge, when you said small batch, when I'm like huge, I meant that's huge yeah. in uh, the value of the product that they're getting yeah. um, and the quality. So I, to me, that's huge. I want someone who cares about, when I'm in the kitchen making something, I'm putting so much love and attention to it. I never have my hair down in the kitchen. I'm going against my better wishes <laughs> right. here. You know, I mean, you're gonna get something made with love. It's gonna taste flavorful and they're gonna know it came from my heart. I think everything that you guys do, yeah. that's yeah. the way I feel. We put love into everything that we make. And I really do believe that that makes a difference to, in the oh, product, the way it how, how it works and is affected It's by all people. the energy. Yeah. It's all that good energy. Absolutely. Yeah. What's next for Casey Hemko? So, you know, we're really big into advocacy right now and we're really proud of the work that we're doing in Kansas. Um, there is a medical marijuana bill running through Topeka. Um, it is an uphill battle, but it has been a really joyful and stressful process, if you will, just knowing that we're that much closer to bringing patients in Kansas an alternative to traditional pharmaceuticals. Um, at Kyle and I are big into the cannabis plant. We bonded over that. That was one of the things, you know, when we met, it was like, you like cannabis, right? I like cannabis, cool. Let's, now we can date. Uh, so we knew we wanted to kind of get into this industry, but we also knew we wanted to excel in this industry. So we would like to grow. If we can get everything done in Topeka the way that we are hoping it goes, um, we would love to be able to grow a plant that can provide therapeutic and medicinal benefits to patients across the state of Kansas. So with regard to real estate, what does that look like? Yeah, so there's, oh gosh, it's so relative to real estate. Um, you know, when you're talking about cultivations or dispensaries where you will actually go to purchase the product, there are specific um, bylaws and they're pretty standard across the nation, um, but specifically for Kansas, it's you have to, you cannot be within a thousand feet of a church, a school, um, a child's, a child daycare center, this a community is for the retail center. This That's is for a dispensary or a cultivation. Oh, for or cultivation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. because it smells. Oh, gotcha. There, there's definitely an odor that if comes there was along a with fire, cultivating. That be good for the <laughs> right, that would be terrible. <clears throat> so, um, but there's also a few other nuancey type type things. You know, when you're growing this plant, it has to spend so much time underneath lights, and those lights suck up a lot of energy. So we've got a good friend out in Colorado who has a grow, and they do it in agricultural zoned land. And that helps them keep their costs down uh, with their lights. And they actually run them opposite. So they run their lights all night and keep the plants dark all day. So there's a few little things you can do to help you save money uh, from a business saving standpoint. energy too. In Absolutely. Night. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, when we, we have to wait till this bill passes and please, um, I, I got a good feeling, but once it does, you know, we, we will be on the fast track to how can we bring a quality medicinal plant to these patients? I, I know we're going to run out of time. I could talk to you forever. Let's just take a flight, a really long flight, and we can sit there and talk somewhere. Yes. <laughs> you know, on the airplane. Uh, somewhere warm. So you recently posted about women and cannabis. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there a book or I mean, there was something that you said in yeah. your post, the power of social media, please follow, follow Casey Hemco on all their socials. Uh, you can get educated, learn about their products. Um, but it's not about the sale. I, Heather is so, so strong and passionate about education, which I just love that. I always learn something from you. Um, it's kind of like wine. You'll never really know everything. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's what my brother said, I'm like, you know, yeah. learning about wine is like, you're never going to know one step at a time.
Yeah. So and women and cannabis. So what was that post about? Yeah. And where can people go to learn more about it? Yeah. So I just recently picked up a book. It's called The Women's Guide to Cannabis. And I read through it and I knew everything that was in the book, but the author laid everything out so beautifully. And walking into a dispensary or going down the cannabis path can be incredibly intimidating, um, especially for older women mm -hmm. um, who, you know, have grown up with a lot of really terrible propaganda. Um, you know, the say no to drugs, cannabis is the gateway drug, all these other things. So this book does a great job of dissecting that, kind of explaining what happens in the dispensary, what you're looking for, how you can then make different types of edibles with cannabis. Um, and just, it really just takes that veil off of the scariness of it mm -hmm. and, and walks the, the, the reader through the process. Are you okay with scary. sharing that book? Cause I, I was going to yeah. say, did you think it was well written and, and, apart, I loved and it. spot on? Yes. I okay. loved it. What can you tell us what it yeah, is? It's called the women's guide to cannabis. And I cannot remember the author right off the top okay. of my head um but women's guide to cannabis i okay. bought it on amazon okay women's guide to cannabis but Good. you can find it at local bookstores it's, it's a really popular book <clears throat> for um kind of guiding into that cannabis space yeah i love that um so much to know about all of this what is something that you well you started to tell us uh, just before we went on air about one of the producers had asked about weed, for lack of a better word, and children and brains developing and when and when not to introduce. And then you mentioned something about breastfeeding. Um, would you yeah. mind sharing what you were telling us uh, before we went on air about about the brain and the and you know the brain is um, I think into our twenties our brain is still forming. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're still developing our brain into the mid to late twenties. Um, so mine is still developing. Yes, right. mine too. Okay. <laughs> so well, we're 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 just developing. Um, but you know. Like I was talking about earlier, we all have this endocannabinoid system within our bodies, and that system starts developing in the gestation age of 14 weeks. Again, such an important system and exactly why we've kind of grown with this hemp plant. Um, so babies, when they're born, are born with their endocannabinoid systems intact. And one of the components of breast milk is cannabinoids. Um, it's just all just by like itself. CBD. Not, yes. I mean, just like as humans, it's already present. It's already there. Okay. And your baby is already getting it um, when you're breastfeeding. And what happens is your natural cannabinoids found within the breast milk are then transferred to the baby. They activate the CB1 receptor. It's a receptor in your endocannabinoid system. And that is responsible for developing their appetite. It, ch it lets them know that they need to start suckling. It lets them know what hunger feels like, when to eat again. So, I mean, it really is responsible for creating that appetite and their relationship with food from day one. Well, really, 14 weeks gestation, but from day one, yeah, mothers pass it on to their babies. So, so. much to know. Uh, again, CaseyHempco.com, Heather Steppe, her husband, Kyle Steppe. Um, also want to remind you, if you're enjoying seeing these episodes and you'd like to uh, share a story with us, maybe about CBD, maybe about a dispensary, maybe about something about your state, or you have a question for Heather, please email us at realestateu, that's you like university, realestateu with Letty Ann at lettyann.com. And if you're interested in our recipes, you can download all of our recipes recipes from season five, lettyann.com forward slash season five recipes. It's as simple as that. Um, you are interested in being one, our congresswoman. Yes, um, I am actually involved Ooh, locally. Out of the bag. <laughs> I, I'm involved in the Leadership OP program through the Overland Park Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. And my whole goal has been to represent my city and city council. Um, so the more I dig into this community, the more I see the need for younger, different progressive thoughts and ideas, the more it really makes me want to get involved. Um, you know, the cannabis advocacy that we do is definitely just the start for me. So I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I'll be watching you, girl. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I, going anywhere. I too am a member of the Overland Park Chamber. Shout out to all of those folks. Yes. They do an incredible job. Love you guys. Love how we are all connected. I think, in fact, I joined and I called you. I called no, we Kyle. were there the same day. We joined oh, the same oh, day. We did. That's right. We were at the That's very, how we met. Yeah, I don't even know how many years <laughs> yes, ago that was. A but, long time ago. Um, have we not met just before? <laughs> no, it was at the first day. Okay. Like it was our orientation. We were there together. Yeah. Bunch of newbies. And I'm like, Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. But uh, I'm like, oh, straight to the steppies. I got so many questions for you. I think I did. I'm like, I yeah. bombarded you and your husband with like. Well, he's pretty standoutable. You yeah. Know, with the ponytail and. Yeah. He's the Jesus of someone said it. The earlier. Jesus of CBD. That yeah. is absolutely you see a man that looks like Jesus on their any of their stuff. That's Kyle. And you may see him on 
Is he still maybe going to do it? Well, he is trying. Survivor. Survivor. Yeah. So you may see Kyle on Survivor and you'll say, oh, I saw that podcast and I feel like I already know Kyle and his wife, they're going to fly you in because he's going to be one of the That's final right. That's contestants. What I told him. That's what I told him. I was like, it's going to be me, right? Like you're going to fly me in? It's not going to be one of our kids. It's going to be me. He's, he said yes. He's but still thinking about we'll it. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, well, we're going to look forward to seeing Kyle on sur an episode of Survivor in the future. We're going to look forward to seeing you sitting in our councilwoman chair. And uh, so proud of you. Thank just you. Wicked proud of you. Uh, let's try this. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a napkin around, but we're gonna we're gonna just go for it. Yeah. Just dig in. So these are just graham crackers. These are just graham crackers, but you can even just use a spoon. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. You first. Yay! Thank you. Mm. Oh my word. Mhm. Mm yeah. Every time. Oh my word, that's mm. trouble in a bowl. I know, but it's healthy. So it's not trouble. Even if you eat six cups of it? It's got chickpeas in it. I'm not gonna double dip, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one. It, um, oh wow, is that so good? So what Heather made for us is healthy CBD. Cookie dough. Cookie dough that you don't bake. So remember, don't bake it, but you can get baked and then enjoy it. So <laughs> time to elevate everyone. Let's move forward with the times. I want to thank Heather for being here. Thank you. Great seeing you. Thank you for tuning in to season five of Real Estate You with Letty Ann. We look seeing, forward to seeing you on a future episode and we're celebrating our hundredth episode today. So thanks for always watching. The Real Estate You podcast with Letty Ann.